How's it flying, guys? This is Lance Corbelock 30, and welcome back to another episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 9. This is Episode 9, Sweet and Smoky. So, I try not to get spoiled on things, but the thumbnails give these kind of things away. So I know that this is going to take place in the Dragonlands, I know this is going to have Fluttershot, and I know this is going to have Spike. The full details... I've got no idea the full details. Um, I'm trying to avoid something about a uh, nest. Something about eggs. So, <clears throat> but anyways. Yeah, we're, we're going to find out what this is about together, for those who have not been spoiled yet. And, uh, well, let's just enjoy the episode. Um, so, yeah, support Hasbro and DHX Media. They are the people who make this show possible, and the voice actresses, and all the animators, and all the story writers, yada, 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 etc. Let's just get into this. I probably should have checked the quality before... Okay, this is about as good as it's going to get. Uh, Headmare Twilight? Sorry to bug you in the teacher's lounge. Uh-huh. Is it okay if I miss class? Mm-hmm, you can make it up tomorrow. Actually, I'll be gone for a week. Yeah. A week? In the middle of the semester? Oh, is everything all right, Smolder? Something Not important. Exactly. My brother's been having a hard time since I left for school. Okay. I want to go home and check on him. He's a really sweet guy, and the other dragons can be kind of rough. Did you say sweet guy and dragon in the same sentence? Yeah, he's sort of like you, Spike. Oh. No! I'm it sorry can't be. Smolder. But the Dragonlands are really far for you to go by yourself. It, and I'm not sure about you missing It can't class. be who I'm thinking it is. You go to school credit for it. Kind of like a, a, a kindness field trip. Uncle Wither. Thanks. Oh, the Spike, you are such a bro. Personal problems when it's baby dragon hatching season. Baby dragon hatching season? And oh, that's how she gets on board. Oh, the face! Looking out of those adorable little shells. It's a Mr. Turtle face. Well, you are the perfect pony to lead a kindness field trip. Okay. All oh, the collective dog. Fine. But I'm gonna expect a full report when you get back. How many pages? I was talking to Fluttershy. Hatching season sounds fascinating. Hey, a great learning experience as well. Okay, so we don't have to worry about skipping the thing. So if your brother's like me, he's gonna love it. Well, what should we do first? Written by Kim, Kim Bayer, Bayer Johnson. Uh, I'm not sure those are the kind of things my brother's gonna be into. Well, what would make your brother happy? Just having Spike and me accept him for who he is will make a huge difference. Dragons who appreciate his more sensitive side. I got it! Show tunes! Nah. Yeah, no, but try. Yeah, no, but you try! <laughs> I love that from Smolder. Interesting sound? Sulfur. Think of sulfur. Sharp rocks under my claws. It's good to be home. <laughs> I can't wait to meet your brother, Smolder. We're gonna be best buddies. I just know it. He usually hangs out near here. I'll go try and find him. Spike, do you mind if I take a peek at the cute little baby eggs? No problem. I'll stay here and finish this comfort blanket. It'll be like a hug every time Smolder's brother wraps it around himself. Um. Oh, I'm sure you'll love it, Spike. <laughs> or not. You sure that's a good idea? Oh my goodness! Yeah, not a good idea. Good evening, little one. I've come a long way to meet you. Did you know there's a whole wide world out here waiting to say hello? Did you? Oh, did you go? Not a good idea, Fluttershy. Answer you. It's an egg. Okay. Good thing it was Ember that found you. Party one, Apple Dash. Or was that the country one? <laughs> you know that's a ship that's a ship name. That's a ship name. I don't know if they intend this or not, but that's a hmm. Fluttershy, the one who loves creatures. Mm -hmm. Are all these yours? No. <laughs> no, none of them are. Watching over eggs is just part of the glamorous life of a dragon lord. Okay, so it's one of her duties, I okay. Think it sounds wonderful. Yeah, then maybe you can help. Just tell me what to do. I don't know. It's my first time being in charge. 
Dad wasn't big on sharing dragon lord details. It's kind of a burn or be burned job. Right. Yeah, okay. Great. Not really. The eggs should have hatched by now, but none of them have even cracked. Oh dear. Maybe they're lonely? Don't you worry. Auntie Fluttershy's here. <laughs> Dragon Lord and I are going to do everything we can to welcome you into this world. Really? How? Um, I Yeah, that's the important uh, question. Oh boy. Now that's a thing of beauty. Frickin'. Well, if it isn't a little pony friend, Spike. That's Equestria's official friendship ambassador to the Dragonlands to you. And I'm not little. I had the mold. See? <laughs> oh, Runt's got wings. I'm so impressed. What's that supposed to be? Nothing. <laughs> no. Looks like a baby blanket to me. Uh, it's not a baby blanket. It's a comfort blanket. No. No, I made it. And by the way, knitting is a lot harder than it looks. Check out the baby blanket, guys. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Got your blanket. Oh, little baby crying. Oh, man. They broke a claw and everything. <laughs> Give it back. That's for my friend. <laughs> What's all the different colors? Do that. Garble! Smolder? What are you doing? Knew it! I knew it! How's it scaling, bro? We better get out of here before your brother shows up. Garble isn't very nice to sensitive dragons. But Garble is my brother. Yeah. My brother? Got a problem with that pony boy. Oh, brother. The big red dick himself. I'm Mr. Bro. We had a lot of fun to catch up on. There's no lava diving at school. Good luck getting Garble to do anything. Uh, yeah, he's been so weird since you left. Hiding and moping around. <laughs> what? Had so? Easy, guys. I learned at Twilight School, ganging up on each other isn't half as cool as you think. Aw, pony school made you soft. Try me and find out. <laughs> yeah. Maybe later. So, yeah. Uh, let's get lava diving. What do you say? Better stay here, shrimp. Lava might ruin your blanky wanky. Let the wind tag along. Then we'll have some dragon to cook. <laughs> Only gonna warn you once. Spike's my friend. You mess with him, you mess with me. Besides, he came here to hang out with you, Garble. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Me? Of course not. <sighs> okay, lava jumping. Just like old times, huh, Gargar? Yeah, just like old times. Except for one little annoying thing. Why you gotta be a dick? Away! And Gargar? You know, whenever I'm feeling a little down, it, it always helps if I do something with a friend. How about we jump together? Ooh. Asshole. Mike, you okay? Uh, I know there must be something worse than lava up your nose. It's okay, that... I just don't know what it is. Lava in your mouth, maybe? Does like the noises that makes of a dog. Do you like a song? Well, I think you might be encouraging them to stay in. Dragons aren't much for touchy feely stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Goodness, why are the eggs shaking? Oh. Are they finally hatching? 
I wish. They've been doing that for days. I'm sure it means something, but it's probably not good. Yeah, Try what this. is it? Red Velvet. Guaranteed to bright many creature spirits. You're, You're just better already. You're just being an unnecessary I don't know about you. Necessarily the being a douchebag. Really? Okay. And sometimes just hearing what someone appreciates about you can make you feel better about yourself. I'll go first. Spike, I think it's really nice that you're trying to cheer up Gargar. Gargar. Thank you, Smolder. My turn. I like how you always let every creature know how you're feeling, Gargar. Only Smolder gets to call me that! <laughs> Thank you for speaking your truth. Okay. Okay, new activity. Who wants to make vision boards? Hey, Gorble, Smolder, surf up. Nuck a duck. So are those? Let me show you how it's done. Yeah. Oh, Spike! There you are! What? Hey, Fluttershy. For them, it's all rocks. This place is surprisingly easy to get lost in. How are the baby dragons doing? The eggs won't hatch. Yep. They just keep shaking. I'm starting to think the dragons are too scared to come out. I was hoping you could help. If you're not too busy uh -huh. to Smolder's brother. Not a chance. Smolder's brother is Garble. Yeah, she recognizes the, the name. The only thing that cheers him up is to make me miserable. Hey, Spike! You wanna play lava ball? Excuse me, but that's not those three. Okay, there's cuts. There are cuts in this, dang it. Garble can have fun with his new friend! But I'm not having fun! He's not my friend! <sighs> yeah, just ignore him, Gargar. Smolder, not in public. Oh, it's okay to have a nickname. Sometimes I'm called Spiky Wiky. Seriously? You're admitting this? I am not hanging out with him. Give him a chance, Garble. You guys have a lot in common. <sighs> Fine. Okay, what happened Race with that Fluttershy bit? I'm gonna have to what? look it up later. I thought you said your brother was sweet. All the tough guy stuff is just an act. He's a big marshmallow. Yeah, not seeing it. Not well, seeing it, yeah. Maybe a burned marshmallow. Smoky <laughs> on the outside, but squishy inside. He just needs friends who can appreciate that part. Like you. You're not changing your mind about helping me cheer him up, are you? Not a very nice kid. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's there's separating jump cuts. Oh boy, this is gonna be Okay, back on track. Yes! I mean, leave my friend alone, please. Spike came all this way to cheer up Garble, which was a very kind thing to do. Aw, do you need cheering up? What's wrong, Garble? Did somewhere Stare! Turn Use the stare! No! I don't know what she's talking about! Spike's the one who's gonna cry. Hey! Are we allowed to start for your what? Oh, yeah, yeah! Let's go hang with a real dragon, not a pony wannabe. <laughs> see? It's no use. Why don't I see what I can do? Perkins. And you cheer up Garbo. At least he listens to you. Just you wait, Garbo. You're dealing with Fluttershy now. And she's packing a whole lifetime of kindness. <laughs> I like seeing Fluttershy like this. Just... That's not. Sankocha! Uh, what are you doing? Spike! Hi, Amber. Hey! Shouldn't you be doing whatever it is you do at Twilight School? I wish. That's a long story. Wow, these eggs really do look scared. Wait, aren't the hatching grounds supposed to be hot? 
Uh, of course. There's a lake of molten lava under them. That's why the eggs are laid there. The heat makes them hatch. Those There's assholes! Wrong. I don't think the eggs are shaking because they're afraid. They're Those cold. assholes that were redirecting the lava. You're right! But what happened to the lava? I might have an idea. Yeah! Those motherfucking cocksucking. These are. Is there any dragon there? Oh my! Are those bongo drums? Fire, dragon, wind, and wagon. Feeling like I be sagging. Oh yeah, I dig. Raging lava. Hello, my friend. What? I hope it burns. Well, they are in the lava lands. And I am recording a reaction to it. Where's my shotgun? Where's my pistol? <laughs> oh, good God. You bought it. Yes, I did. Yeah. And I'm still recording, by the way. <laughs> You're out of screen. You're out of screen. Don't worry. Most they'll see is your shirt. So funny story. Uh, we actually saw this where I work. It was on sale, and he kind of poked fun at me, as he does, about getting it. And said if it wasn't sold by the time he got back, then he'd buy it, use it for target practice himself. So I got it. I can still use it for target practice. You just won't know it's gone. It's right here out in the open. I'll see it's gone. Well, believe me, you won't when I'm done. What are you going to do? Make a copy out of paper mache? No, I'm going to sit outside your window there and I'll hit it from there. Then you got to clean up the mess. You would, you weirdo. My buddy. <laughs> Child, how long are you going to be? Well, let's see how much longer to re Okay, this will be about just seven minutes. Do you want to wait outside, or do you want to just sit in here and laugh at me while I make while I talk about this? I'm going to go outside. Okay. <laughs> that works. Fine, I'll sit here. Or whatever. I don't care. Okay. Hurry up, So. <laughs> so, just that this is, a couple of characters have Boy, gone to the... Play it. Tell my friends about it. 
I'm gonna get out of here because I'm gonna vomit. By this. I'm gonna vomit yeah. by watching this. <laughs> I'm gonna kinda admit it. I'm seeing garble like this is weird. I'm gonna share my creations with everybody. And hearing people do that, like the, ah, the, it is, I don't know, it feels kind of hipstery to me, but then again, I don't, I don't know. I'll be in the car. Alright, I'll be out there shortly. Yeah, my dear, burn it. Again, they're in the Lava Lands. More specific, more accurately, the Dragon Lands, but it's full of lava. There next. Disgusting. Ye Yeet! Only one Garbo will perform for. He hasn't written any poetry since I left. That's why he's been so sad. Yeah. I need to create. But if the other dragons ever found out I like this junk, they make fun of me forever. Is that why you pick on Spike? To make your friends think you're tough? Wait, you've been picking on Spike? Yes. Uh, only when you're not looking. But if I didn't pick on Spike, they just pick on me. He is kind of a weakling. I'll have you know Spike is stronger than you are any day. Yeah, right. That little cupcake-making, blanket-cuddling pony dragon? Ah, give me a break. First of all, there's nothing wrong with being a pony. Second, Spike isn't afraid to be who he is, no matter what you or any creature thinks. That's real strength. Not like some dragons I know. For a pony without a horn, she sure got a point. Yeah. I've been looking all over for you guys. We need your help. Hurry. Yeah, no kidding. Help. I've ordered every dragon to warm up the eggs, but they still won't hatch. I don't know what else we can try. We can't give up. There's gotta be something we can do. Yeah, but what is it? We wrap the eggs in a bunch of baby blankets. <laughs> yeah, the whip can Actually. Hey, watch it. That love fire confirms the pony. Good idea, Spikey Whitey. Oh, no. Eggs, come. Burst into that light. Break through shells that bind. Okay, oh, he's using their loud and fire. Explore, stuck between rock and our place. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> that color fire. Okay, that, that color. That, there we go. Speak your claim. Don't stop. Just do. Be the one and only you. There we go. There we go, it's starting.
Okay, those little, those little, little incubators look kind of, look kind of cute. Okay, uh, let's do a quick recap. So, found out that Garble is a closet poet. That style of poetry may not click with me, but I can get how it can click with others. But, anyways. And the message, being brave enough to celebrate your differences and not be afraid to show it. Okay, that, that's kind of like the fandom. I mean, I now I have my friend who pick who teases me about it. You know, I don't I know he doesn't mean anything by it, but there are people who will legitimately look at like the fandom with scorn because it's like it's not man like what the so what the fuck what? It's a show. It's what it is. It's a show. Don't get so worked up over it. And so what if some people do like it? Whatever. We've had conventions about it. I'm going to a to the last BronyCon this year, so the heck with it. Sure, I'm going. So the the poetry thing may have, may have sounded a little cringe to me. I can get how it'll make other people go, ah, oh, so smart, dude. But whatever. Anyways, what'd you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed. Comment uh, your thoughts on this episode. Subscribe if you're new. And tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. That way you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise from me. And also come join my Discord. Link is in the description down below. Come join and have some fun. This has been Lance Corporal Lock 30.